Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is going to go in depth into the fundamentals of UDP inspection on the Cisco ASA firewall. Let's begin. Let's first discuss some background on how the ASA operates. The Cisco ASA firewall is a stateful packet inspecting device. This means that the ASA is going to examine and document the state of every connection that attempts to go through it. The ASA utilizes a connection table to keep track of all these connections. When traffic is permitted to go through the ASA, a connection entry is formed in that connection table and a connection flow is established. Packets from the source to the destination and its return traffic traverse the firewall using this newly formed connection flow in the connection table. Since UDP is a connectionless protocol, the ASA has to operate a little bit different. The ASA cannot track the state of the packet exchange process for most UDP traffic. The ASA can inspect UDP though using the XLATE table access list and the connection table. Even though UDP is a stateless protocol, the firewall treats it as if it were stateful traffic and it documents it in the stateful connection table. Let's look at the following example to reiterate this. Let's say for example, the access list that's applied to this external interface on the firewall is permitting UDP traffic on some random UDP port number. If host A sends a UDP packet on that port, it's going to hit that access list and it's going to be permitted through. Next, the firewall will either use an existing XLATE entry or create a new one. As the UDP packet is permitted through the firewall, the ASA is going to inspect the source and destination IP address and UDP port numbers. This information is going to be documented as a connection in the connection table, and a stateful connection flow is going to be created. Any UDP packets between host A and host B over that port number can now pass back and forth freely. The ASA allows the connection to remain up as long as there are packets flowing through that connection. Since the ASA has no way to track the state of the packet exchanges in that UDP connection, it has no way to determine when the UDP connection is over. To solve for this, the ASA uses the UDP idle timeout to close connections. The idle timeout is a configurable option, but the default for UDP traffic is 2 minutes. Regardless of whatever value that UDP idle timeout is set to, once the idle timeout expires, the XLATE entry and the connection entry are immediately torn down. Alright, keep in mind there are exceptions to this UDP inspection process. One example is how the ASA handles DNS UDP traffic. To prevent malicious, abusive activity, the ASA uses a feature called DNS Guard. And DNS Guard only allows the first reply to a DNS request and it blocks any other replies. This prevents massive amounts of traffic from being sent to one of your DNS resources in a UDP connection. I will be making a video in the future regarding DNS Guard. I hope this UDP inspection fundamental video has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.